Because <laughs> that's what Reddit does. Yeah. That's how we had custom moves at the first Evo. Oh, hold that thought. I, I, I'm going to tell you a story about that after this match, but because we're, we're moving in. Uh, all right, Ganondorf on the screen, and uh, whoa, here we go. Uh, Metalox and Malgus. Malgus. Malgus definitely um, been rocking the Ganon since Smash 4, so I, I bet he's very happy about uh, the buff scanning got and just how, like, I, I just feel like he's generally just better. Yeah, some quality of life changes definitely for sure, you know. Finally gets to use his sword, does so much damage and pop. He's kind of becoming a little, like, a, almost a niche character in doubles, and uh, speaking of niches, he just read the heck out of that read, you know. Yeah. That's yeah. always the power of that side special that just puts him into those tech read situations, so that's a... Uh, I swear he had double jump. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I, I, I actually feel like he had double jump. It's so weird. Hold up, you're not going to connect here. Maybe I'm trying to get some reverse up here, shenanigans. Oh, wow. I'm very surprised that that uh, down beat. Got beat down. Oh, oh so my close God. to death. That's one of those crunchers for Venelox right there. Yeah. <laughs> Could not believe if I just. It's before, you know, it's always that, the, the, you know, the, the small elbow, but the sword comes out, there's more range. And yeah, speaking of, uh, but so speaking of some power. Oh wait, man. He's double jump. <laughs> He's where, where is Malgus's double jumps going? Like, wow, I'm so surprised right now. I'm, I'm a little, you know, confused on uh, what's going on because it looks like Malgus is in so control of the match, looking at you know, coming out the gate, and Venalox didn't really know. Look like he knew what hit him, and all of a sudden, Venalox is in the lead and it's looking pretty sharp. Yeah, I mean, there's like just two occasions where I swear Malgus had double jump, but maybe uh, used it. Oh, but he's off stage here. This is a really good position. Oh no, oh, he definitely tried to go for angle up uh, side. Whenever you see a wolf just like up B straight up like uh -huh. that, they wanted to side. Oh, okay, up smash. He's gonna hit. But they, they definitely wanted to side B and then angle it up. But then they like they press up too quick. So he think he was going for his ultimate version of the main goal and just uh, I mean, super maybe. high level. Uh, like he, he went straight up, so there was like definitely no angle at all. But it was perfect. It was just out of the reach of Ganondorf's sword. I'm gonna give credit to him. He was going for the main goal, but I, I think you're right. He's probably it might have been a tech error, but you know what they say: some of the uh, best mind games look like tech to like look like tech errors in the box score. So. Yeah, true. Um, but yeah, after Ooh. some minor technical difficulties, Malgus was able to pull it out, you know, uh, almost was his own worst enemy. I don't think... Uh, yeah, I, I felt like uh, I felt like it would have been low-key tragic if he lost that, but I mean, I, I don't know where he's burning these double jumps. I feel like it's a really, really big deal. Yeah. Oh, this is big damage here. Oh, oh my god. Got, if he hit that with the charge, like, he actually would have died. Right. Which is just so crazy. This, this character is so, like, powerful. Which is cool because that's what, like, that's what Ganon is. Yeah. Triforce power. He's, he's got to be super strong. And, you know, as, as I was saying before, it started getting a little crazy. I, I, Ganon's kind of been showing himself, oh my god, very good neutral air off and off stage. Just very aggressive and puts the stock away. But I was saying that Ganon has kind of found a little home for himself in the doubles game and, uh, you know, as kind of the uh, heavy hitter and closing out a lot of stocks. Speaking of closing out stocks, the wizard foot putting that, uh, putting that kick away, or kicking him off the stage. And, Taking the stock and the train keeps going. Oh my god. Safe on the lock with the space. That board smash is so good. Just all the smash attacks in general are really, really amazing. Ooh, almost connecting that side view there. Yeah, just spacing out with these nares. Using the uh, dash attack and the down beat as the gap closes. Zero Mauga is trying to get something started here. Ooh. Yeah, you think uh, at some point with Venelox, uh, constantly getting punished with these smash attacks for the aggressive option. He might start hitting the B button and shooting out some blaster shots in neutral and just trying to feel out Malgus just a little bit, but um, he's just going right in there, running right in, right at his opponent. Not working out so well right now. Oh my god, reads left and right. Yeah, and that's the scary thing about Ganon is if, if he reads you like two times, like, could be your stock, like, from zero. It's kind of nutty. Oh, oh no. He broke no his shield. Way. Malgus getting the shield break with the volcano kick. All right. Why you gotta do him like that? You got it on stream. You know that that's what that's what Ganon players really want to do. Like Ganon players, they just want to body somebody yeah. on stream, like break their shield or do something like that on stream, so so the world can see Ganon doing it. I didn't even uh, I did not even see um, what's it called the shield pop up in that situation. I thought he was just gonna get the direct hit, uh, but. That shield must have been up for maybe one frame, maybe two frames. <laughs> so, yeah, so. the first shield 
the first frame that shield comes up, yeah. you actually don't see it. Okay, there you go. Uh, but yeah, so good, but good stuff to Malgus. Uh, as we we're saying, it was, looked a little bumpy of a ride, game one, but definitely came on strong game two. Um, kind of the assist out of Venalox, kind of playing a little aggressive for my taste uh, for Wolf, uh, especially when you're getting hit pretty hard by Ganondorf. Yeah, like against Ganon, you got to be really careful, especially in this game. Um, like you, you can you know go up and fight him, but right. the the thing is like I, Wolf d definitely has the range as well to contest him, but yeah. you, you just got to be really careful. You got to make sure you're doing a really good job with punishing. Blaster is a great tool against Ganon, you know, to start making him like commit or forcing him to jump for sure. Even if you don't necessarily spam it, you can definitely still use it as a condition, the Ganon. Yeah. And Blaster is just like literally one of Wolf's right. best moves. So. That's what I mean. Yeah, like I figure Ganondorf as a 